didn't think I was gonna see you again. Yeah, you just seemed like a little bit weirded out last time. I know I can be a lot, but I'm so happy to have you back. Mm -hmm. So, do you already know what you want to go as for your Halloween party tonight? Or are you in need of some assistance? Because if there's anything I'm good at, it's assistance. A little vague. Mm hmm. I'm so excited. So, I have here a quite impressive, if I do say so myself, collection of Halloween makeup looks. There's a lot in here. So if you don't mind, I think I'm gonna take a look at you and give you my expert recommendations on which looks in particular would suit you the best. For sure. So, hmm, let me just take a moment or two or three to, like, reacquaint myself with your lovely appearance and dark the flag skin tone hair color eye color general vibe okay yep uh -huh. absolutely yes very good very good love that jawline so sharp snacks they are gonna be delectable no thanks it's not worth it you'd look super hot but <laughs> cannot interfere i would never get between a girl and her hors d'oeuvres not a monster let's see what about something like this hmm You know what could be so cute on you? It's a little cliche, but you know, the cliches are cliche for a reason. A broken doll? Yeah, you know, like those cute porcelain dolls with the pretty pink dresses and the bows and the lashes. Let me give you a good look, babe. Here we go. So. As you can see, the main focal point of this look is those amazing baby doll lashes. Nice and spidery spooky for Halloween. Mm -hmm. And I've got plenty of fun lashes here if you don't fancy those. But I do think the chunky, pacey look would suit you extremely. Mm -hmm. Nice pea 
peachy lip, these warm peachy tones in the lips and the cheeks, I think would bring such a glow to your face. Mm -hmm. And then the shattered effect. Mm -hmm. And to look like cracked porcelain, we can do as much or as little as you like when it comes to that shattered effect. In the face chart I've made, I've kept it pretty minimal, didn't want to detract from the beautiful features, but if you want to go spookier, we can like shatter the whole face, even make it bloody, whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Lots of highlight, as you can see, little contour to get that baby doll button nose. Mm-hmm. What do you think of this one? Not quite spooky enough. I like your style. Let's see then. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about Pennywise? I think you could pull it off. I would definitely go for like a little bit of a sexier version. I know it sounds like an impossible challenge to make Pennywise any sexier than he already is, but I can try. So, here's what I'm thinking. Super smoked out cat eye. Yellow contacts with that creepy cat eye pupil. And then red around the edges. And then these signature lines going up the forehead, down the cheek, and connecting to a cherry red lip and a cherry red nose. We could either paint that on or do an actual clown nose, whatever you want, girl. And then the ruffled collar, a red wig. Yeah, so we can. Cover up your eyebrows if you want. Start with a totally fresh slate so we can get them really sharp and thin. Or if you want to go for something a little bit more natural, we can just go over your regular brow. Mm -hmm. So you like that maybe as an option? I'm so glad. I think red looks so good on you. I'll show you a couple more just to make sure we're getting something that's going to be absolutely perfect for you. No, no rush at all. You're my last appointment of the day, and I'm happy to take as much time as you need. For sure. Mm, so I know you did say something spookier, but I just cannot deny how exorbitantly hot you would look as Ursula. I'm serious. No, I don't. Okay, no. I know that she's like a sea witch and everything, but like Pennywise is a murderous clown and like I made that sexy so I have a little faith, right? Thank you. So, here's my Ursula. So, we would go with a base of pastel purple all over some nice deep gray contouring to really carve out those cheekbones, jaw, and nose. A blue smoked out eye, white contact lenses, a deliciously plump red lip. This little mole here, so glamorous. Shell necklace, which I have here in the shop, of course, always prepared. And then a white wig. Mm -hmm. Live for it. Obsessed. Would wear my brows like that every day, if not for the fact that it would make men pee their pants everywhere I go. Now that I think of it, that's actually a perk. <sighs> I need to reconsider my look. So what do you think of Ursula? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So you really want to stick with something spookier? <sighs> okay. 
I can respect that. What about Beetlejuice? Yes, nothing spookier than rotting flesh, am I right? Cute. The combination of purple and green I would normally consider unforgivably atrocious, but in this scenario is actually quite dashing. Mm -hmm. So we would do mottled green mold over various sections of the face and neck. I have some supplies to add texture. It's fake mold. Purple smoky eye, purple lip, or black, or white. The original Beetlejuice is white, not sexy. Thinking black or purple. Mm-hmm. And then chaotic, feral green hair. Very cool. And then, of course, can't go without the black and white striped jacket. Oh, that looks sick on you. So what do you think? seemed like your favorites were between Pennywise and Beetlejuice. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Pennywise is going to be the one. I think so too. Alright, so let me just give you one last look at the face chart, babe. So you can let me know if there's anything you would like me to adjust to your liking. Mm-hmm don't want an overlined lip. Mm -hmm. Matte, okay. Better for the hors d'oeuvres, I understand. Painted on nose, that'd be more comfortable. Mm -hmm. A little bit thicker in the brow. I think that'll suit you. Yeah. The, your brows are an essential You like the rest. Perfect. I'm so glad. So, while I get started, I would love to hear more about the party you're going to. Tell me all about it. Is it just the one? Or are you going to be like hopping around? Mm hmm. That's great. It's good to be thorough and like get a little taste of everything. Great idea. Yeah, 
Do you have any shenanigans planned? No explosives? Oh my god, why are you even going? Oh, there's a chocolate fountain? It all makes sense. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, who's he? Uh-huh. Ew. TikTok? Okay. Mm-hmm. Do you know who else is going to be there? Oh, she's cool. Doesn't she have like seven cats and they're all named after types of metamorphic rock? Oh, Igneous, excuse me. Mm hmm. Yeah, she's the best. Now your face is so pale, you look like you've been dead for three days. Gorgeous. Now we can move on to your smoky eye. You've always, always got to prime. Especially for a night like tonight when I know you're going to be dancing like crazy, right? Cannot have your makeup wearing off. No, ma'am. Right. Primer. And then I have been living and dying for this eyeshadow palette lately. Pat McGrath Labs Mothership. So, ugh, to die for. Right. With a blending brush. And smooth that warm brown into the crease. Sweep, 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 sweep. Sweep, sweep. Need a smaller brush for the inner corner highlight. This is very precise business. Okay. And if you would just close your eyes for me, babe. Gorgeous. And then for her mascara, I'm going to give you some luscious lashes. Just look down. actually going to use a black liner because they're just that bold and sharp. So starting at the inner corner, I'm creating that curved little upward swoop. It looks so creepy but sexy. be brow twinsies and both do the bitch brow every day and just walk around making men wet their pants everywhere love it now for that clown nose just a nice rounded red rounded red rounded red starting with a soft smallest touch of shimmer to give it dimension and shine. Perfect. 
And now creating those lines that go from the eye up to the forehead. delicate light and then from beneath the eye down over the cheek connecting to the lip down over the cheek connecting to the lip it's really starting to pull the look together we've got to do your red lip now I'm going to be super careful to choose the best possible shade of red for you. It's like so crucial. Hmm, thinking like the nose, a clean cherry red. Not too warm, not too cool, but if anything, leaning a bit more warm. Okay. So if you would just part your lips for me ever so slightly and like pout them a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like they got your order wrong at Starbucks. You're like, oh my god, I wanted almond milk. <laughs> you got it. Finishing touch is going to be a little bit of blush. Yeah. Because even a killer clown still got to look cute, like lively and fertile and whatever. Okay. So just relax your face. We're going to blend this into the apple of the cheek and sweep it up the cheekbone. And sweep it up the cheekbone and just one swish over the chin. You, my dear, are all set. You look so terrifying. Mm -hmm. And also super cute. Nailed it. You're welcome. I'm so glad you have such great taste. So I'll be seeing you very soon, yeah? Alright, love you, babe. Have a ball.